Okay, everybody, here we are at Madison Square Garden. Beautiful day. We got a sheet of ice that is like glass. First day of the season. Couldn't skate on. We had ice on Sunday, but a little under the weather. Had to get a little better. So anyway, this is what we got. We got no snow, which is a good thing, because anyone that has an outdoor rink knows that snow is your enemy. And now we'll walk down... And as you see, everything's ready to go. Put one net on the ice, because I only need one. Have a hard time finding players these days. That one's a little scared to get on the ice with me. Unbelievable skill. Back in the day, I was some player. Not gonna lie. And here we got one of my nets from back years ago. Five pockets, because that's all I saw was pockets. Back in a net, baby. They were always filled with pucks. And another net here. As we go around, there we go. Oh shit, here's my bed sheet. Just because when the winter comes, I usually sleep down here because it's all about hockey. Now we walk up here. There's a lot of pucks broken in half. That's what a 200 mile an hour slap shot does hitting a crossbar. So I put them there just to remind people what they're getting into. Now we go into the benches. We got heated benches here. This is where the chirping starts. But guess what? When the chirping shots, you got to get on the ice. And when I get on the ice, I show up, baby. Because that's how I do it. Now here, we got some of my equipment here. Here's my customized helmet. See, it says hat trick, because that was my nickname. Because goddamn, was I the hat trick man. It's, as you can see, it's a soft shell. Because we just shoved it in our pockets back in the day. And walked away like men. But now it's all concussions. There was no such thing as a concussion back then. Anyway. What was I saying? Oh, I forget. But, so in here, we have one of the pucks I use. And the reason I use the orange pucks, yeah, they're heavier and it's more manly. But I use it because I want to give the goalies a chance to see it. It's a little hard to see the black pucks at night. But I want to let them see it as it's going by them, 200 miles an hour. Then we got here some of my gloves. There's one of my jerseys, Team One Hockey, Texas, highly recruited, minor league, baby. Poof, it was something else back then, back in the day. And then here's some of my sticks, but we'll get to the skates first. Look at these skates, all leather. Custom fit to my feet. Put them in a bucket of hot boiling water. Kids don't know what it's like today to be a hockey player. Everything is. They make stuff easier for them. Carbon graphite. What is that? So anyway, these, the transformation from footbed to ice is so incredible. Two strides and I'm almost through that glass. That's how incredible it is. Then you come here, you look at my sticks, Canadian. Back in the day, I tried to get sticks that said American, but go figure, they didn't make them. But if you look here, zero flex. That's what I used. They custom made them for me. I wanted no flex because all the flex were in my arms. The rocket can cannon. I didn't need flex in the stick. And you look here, this was another custom one I had. Corsave. And you know what? Because god damn it was I Save with the puck. Oh my god. Dingle dangle like in a phone booth. If you look here, all the notches. That's goals. But I kind of got bored with it, you know? Like how many notches you got to put on a stick? It's just so many a game. I mean, so there we go. And you walk here, just going to let you guys know, just got drafted in the 600th round, 2,000th overall by one of my favorite teams. Right here, let me just stretch it up. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, there's my team. 2,000th overall. They passed on the last 1,900 guys, but they must have been really digging my skills and skill set. And then here they customize it already, Concanon. Why Concanon? Because... God damn it, when the concannon comes down on you, you ain't seeing nothing but net, baby. There we go. We'll put that on today. Then I'll showcase some of my skills. My videographer isn't here today because, I don't know, got sick, got scared, something like that. We'll walk back out here. I'll show you the ice that it really is like glass. So I had to put up this netting, which I'll stretch across because even though this is tempered glass, the slap shots, they just shatter everything. I mean, me. Well, not most of the kids, but just me. And then here's my net. And if you look at the net here, look at that, the hole in there. That's where I go, top shelf all the time. They can't even see it. They can't even move. It's almost embarrassing. 
You see a lot of nicks and dings on the crossbar and post. That's not for me. That's for my kid. Um, I'm on that. He's all post. Anyway, but he's doing good. He had to get away, though, because uh, the nighttime hockey here was too intense. The hitting, the checking, the razzle-dazzle of my stick handling. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want to run away being upstaged by Gramps here? But anyway, I showcase my skills. You know, I taught him everything he knows, but not everything I know. So anyway, we're going to strap on these leather skates now, and we're going to hit it, baby. And this is going to be something else. So any of you guys that want to come down and get a little piece of the action, maybe get checked through the glass, come on down. And I am looking for a goalie, preferably a Swiss one. Because you know what they say about those Swiss goalies, Swiss cheese. And Leo, I'm coming for you.